Hello, welcome to the Benjamin Tree. Today we're going to talk about two functions, if error and or. We're going to first look at if error. Let's take a look at this sheet here. And as you can see, what we're going to do is we're going to take the number 100 and divide it by the number in the B column. So let's make our first simple equation. This is going to equal C2 is going to be equal to A2 divided by B2. Very simple equation. And as you see, we get the result 25. Now, if we drag this down to all of the different equations, you can see that we have a problem here at C6. We're getting an error because we cannot divide 100 divided by 0. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the special formula if error. Okay, so we're going to type it in if error and it asks for two inputs. First input is say, what do you want me to display? I'll check if it's if it doesn't have an error. If there's no error, I'll put it up there. So we want to say A2 divided by B2. Now the second input it's asking is, all right, if your first input is an error, what should I display instead? So here we're going to display cannot divide by zero as a text. Okay, so we're going to put that in, close it out. So for our first cell, we still get 25 because 100 divided by 4 is not an error. But when we drag it down, we can see now at C6, it says cannot divide by 0 because this is an error. So this is a good function to use inside of longer, bigger uh, functions. That way you can look for errors and that way you can skip over something. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to look at the OR function. So what happens is the OR is kind of like an IF function, but let's take a look what it says. What we're going to do is we're going to compare the name in E1 to every single name in here between B2 and B6. Okay, so when we type in equal OR, we can type in a lot of things to check using the different comparison signs, equal, greater than, less than, not equal to. So what happens is, in our case, we're going to have five logical things to check. If one of them or two of them or any number of them is true, then OR will reply that this is true. If all of them are false, only when all of them are false will OR say that it is false. So what we're going to do is say E1 is equal to B2. That's our first check. We're going to say E1 is equal to B3. That's our second check. We're going to say E1 is equal to B4. That's our third check. E1 is equal to B5. That's our fourth check. And the last check will be E1 is equal to B6. Now we're going to close it down. And what we're getting here is false because Franklin is not equal to one of the Sullivan brothers' names. So let's change it to Francis, and then we get it as true. Okay, if we change it to Albert with two L's, it's false because the spelling's not the same. But if we change it to Albert with one L, then it's true. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, maybe we don't want to say true or false. What we can then do is we can put in an if statement. So now, the if statement, this is our logic test. This or is already giving us a true or false value, so we don't we can just use the or as our logic test. Okay. Then next, it says, all right, we do a logic test. Or comes back true. What do you want me to say? Then let's say the text is a Sullivan brother. Okay. We put a comma and the if saying, all right, what happened if it's not true? What do you want me to say? We'll put not a Sullivan brother. Okay, and now we can close it. So a lot of times if and or come together because or makes the true or false statement. And then if puts out two different inputs or outputs based on what or comes back as. So now we type in Albert and it says a Sullivan brother. Okay, if we type in Franklin, not a Sullivan brother. And if we type in Francis, a Sullivan brother. Okay, so now you can see how 
or function works. So let's go to practices. I have two practices today, one for each function. The first function, uh, it's going to be uh, if error. It's going to be very similar to what we practiced today. So create a formula here that's going to add column A to column B, but when you drag it down, you can't say 14 plus banana equals blah. You can't say that because text plus numbers can't be added together. So use the if error function and display the message cannot add text when there's an error for, caused by the letters here. When you finish, you can check your answers at practice one answer key. Now for practice two, this is a little bit of a strange one, but on this sheet we have a uh, kind of a little checklist to see if someone can get a visa for a country. Okay, so using the if function, the or function, make three checks. The first check is to say, all right, if this person has $250,000 or more invested in this country, then they can get a visa. Okay, that will be check number one. The second one will say if this person owes, owns $400,000 worth of property or more, then that would be a positive, that would be true, and they could get their visa. And the last one will say that this person has a family member who is a citizen, then they can get their visa. Okay, so do an if or, and so the or is going to check that at least one of these are true and get a true response. Uh, when you're checking for the yes, use the upper function here. Use the upper to make sure that this is equal to the responses of capital Y E S or just capital Y. Okay. Now if at least one of these things are true, then the result should be approved. If all of these are false, then the result should be denied. So put it here in cell A8 to for the if or uh, functions. And when you finish, you can come down to practice to answer key. Okay, so today you learned about if error and or functions. I hope you're able to learn a lot. If you have any questions, please leave a comment either on YouTube or on the blog. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.